This plant, for example, has been so revered for millennia in East Asia that certain roots go for up to $100,000. Now in this video, we'll discuss one of the most famous plants in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic history, its uses throughout history, as well as how it works clinically and how I currently use it every day in my clinic here in Los Angeles. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master of the Day. So. Let's get it. Let's talk about the magic behind ginseng or renshin, purely because it's been over harvested to such an extreme degree and there's such a high premium for some of these roots that people will pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for wild ginseng. The forests grown and harvested purely because the levels of certain compounds in here that are medicinal are much higher in the wild than in the cultivated form. Now you see that also in crops, right? You see that in food crops in general, certain vegetables and certain fruits that aren't harvested in a general commercial sense will often have higher nutrition, especially the further away you get from general agriculture. So in traditional Chinese medicine, ginseng is considered to be a superior tonic for qi. Now I refuse to call that energy, but you could think of it as a general herb that will improve your overall vitality and energy. It is often something that's given as gifts too, because it is such a prized herb on its own. And while there are other herbs and medicinals, like for example, mushrooms, reishi, which is lingzhi, a lot of them also have quite expensive price tags on them. But ginseng for some reason has stood the test of time as being sort of like the superior tonic. And frankly, a lot of this is supported by the research in terms of clinically what renshin and ginseng can actually do. You know, but when we look at the history of traditional Chinese medicine, supporting the body, the vitality with herbs is just one of the many practices that traditionally a doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine would do, right? I specialize in internal medicine with formulas, but there are three or four other daily practices that the great luminaries and the great physicians have talked about. And I've talked about four of them in a free guide I've put together. It's the link right below this video. And it's specifically around this one dude that lived to be over a hundred years old, this guy named Li Qingyun. And this guy was said to be very long lived and in very good health. And he talked about the four or five daily practices he did that there was even a New York Times article written about in the early 1900s. So you can check it out. It's about four healing practices from TCM. So what are some of the uses of renshen in Chinese medicine, clinically? There's a great story my mentor likes to tell of one famous formula called du shen tang. Du shen tang basically means ginseng alone decoction. Now what du shen tang is basically is when people are at the end stages of life or they are exhausted or on death's door, you basically give them a very high dose of ginseng. I think this decoction was like 50 to 100 grams of just ginseng. And what ginseng is very good for is stabilization of the HPA axis. HPA axis is the interface between your brain, the stress pathways, physiological pathways in the body, and the adrenals. He gives the story of this formula and he describes it like the way that grandma is on death's door. And if any of you have spent time around people who are dying or in their death and dying phase of life, you've seen how sometimes especially for the healthcare practitioners, they sometimes suddenly are conscious and awake a day or an hour before they die. Sometimes a loved one comes into the hospital and they will actually wake up and be lucid and conscious just to die an hour later. This is my mentor described this formula as almost like grandma's in the hospital on death's door and her granddaughter, her favorite granddaughter is graduating high school or college or medical school in a week. And you need grandma to get those jumper cables to get her adrenals and her body and her vitality, enough of a boost just to make it to that graduation before she passes. So you make this formula du shentang, which is like a industrial strength turbocharged jumper cables. And that can be something that can give her the strength to actually get out of bed and be alive for another week or another day or another hour to be able to go see her granddaughter or rather graduate. So du shentang is something for what's often called devastated yang. Yang qi is like your battery charge. When your battery charge is at 1% and death is imminent, you utilize formulas to save the person's life in that way. Modern formulas that we end up using this for are things like a formula called sejun zetang, four gentlemen decoction. So sejun zetang is a formula commonly used, renchen, ginseng, baiju, attract the loads. We have another herb called fuling, which is poria, a mushroom fungus, and then gansao, so licorice. This four herb combination is very effective for the pattern of you know bloating, loose stools, 
fatigue, a lot of these SIBO-like symptoms sometimes people have, excessive throat clearing, general debility like anemia, that kind of thing. Very, very effective formula for that. And ginseng in this is used because number one, we say ginseng helps the spleen pancreas function, which it does very, very well, but it's also very good for the chi deficiency, the fatigue that people have that goes along with it. Now, from a modern scientific point of view, what does ginseng actually do? There are a couple things I wanna share. Number one is that it enhances cognitive function and memory. One study found that that ginseng can improve cognitive performance, especially in tasks involving memory and attention. One compound in there called ginsenicides have a neuroprotective effect that can enhance cognitive function. The second is it can boost your immune system function. This is that chi deficiency sort of pattern, right? In this case, this particular review found that ginseng has immunomodulatory effects. It stimulates the production of various immune cells and cytokines, which help the body fight off infections. It can reduce fatigue and improve athletic performance. This study, found that ginseng supplementation can reduce fatigue and improve your physical performance. So it helped people in particular that had chronic fatigue syndrome and people who are athletes. The fourth benefit is that ginseng actually lowers blood sugar levels, very important for people today. In this study, ginseng was found to have hypoglycemic properties in people with type two diabetes. It improved insulin sensitivity and it also enhanced the glucose uptake. And finally, ginseng actually improves sexual function. This study found that ginseng improved erectile function in men with erectile dysfunction, and it has an ability to enhance the nitric oxide synthesis, which improves blood flow. Besides ginseng being an herbal kind of uh, grandpa's old best friend there, it has a lot of overall health benefits, and they're some of the reasons it is known as one of the king of medicinals. Don't forget, before you guys go, I work with a limited number of patients every single month in my clinic in Los Angeles if you wanna work with me personally or via telemedicine. And on top of that, you can just reach out to my clinic, dralexhine.com forward slash clinic. There's info in my phone number right below this video. And don't forget, check out that root cause quiz if you're curious where your symptoms come from. This little card here will direct you there. And I have one more video on this exact topic here on the most powerful medicinal herbs right there.